because my son was taking pictures and everything else and I thought I was deleting his. Anyway, long story short, I didn't get that video posted. So let me just give you a rundown of yesterday's workout. Yesterday's workout was leg. So I started out on um, the, my body solid machine. Just about everything was done on it. I'm gonna try to do some videos per request. Um, my workouts that I'm doing for weight training use, utilizing my body solid machine. So in case you're looking into buying a body solid and that's how you found my channel, then uh, this will be great for you for the next few workouts that I do because I'm going to do every day what my main focus for the day is on the body solid as much as possible. Um, there are some things that you're still not going to be able to do with the body solid and I'll go into that when I talk to you about shoulder day. Um, but for leg day, I did everything on my body solid machine with the except of my walking lunges and I could have done those on my body solid machine but I chose not to. So I started out doing leg extensions. Every single move that I did, I did anywhere from 15 to 20 reps. Um, and you want to do high reps, low weight, and then you want to do very, very, very little rest in between. And when I say very little, it's like maybe 10 seconds at most. Um, it should just be moving your weights up because you want to try to do working uh, sets on all of these moves as well. Um, I was not able to do that every single time just because I went a little bit too high for my first time going into it, not really knowing what to expect. I'll tell you what, it's a totally different routine than what I have been doing. So anyway, I started out with my leg extensions. Um, again, you just want to do nice controlled movements, squeeze at the top with your quads um, so you can really engage that muscle. Um, I started out using a 25 pound plate and then I went up and I did my last three sets using a 35 pound plate and that was more than enough because like I said, you're doing so many reps in this routine that is just absolutely a killer. I then flipped over onto my tummy and I did lying leg curls. Again, four sets, 15 to 20, whatever flops your skirt is cool with me. 
Um, the one thing I wish I had done differently is I wish that I had put my bench on a little bit of a decline position when I got ready to do this move, but I was in a hurry and just trying to not rest too much in between, so I didn't do that. Um, but when your bench is straight like this, you'll find that, like mine was in the video today, you'll actually find that you're utilizing some of your lower back muscles to do the pull-out part with, when you're doing the leg curl. Um, you don't really want to do that. You can injure yourself if you're not careful, one. And then two, you're not really isolating your glutes and your hamstrings in the movement if you're utilizing some of your lower back. So with that being said, if you have a bench that you can put in a decline position, the body solid bench um, that it does come with does actually have a decline setting on it. Again, it's just I didn't take the time to even do it. I don't know what I was thinking. So next time, I'll put it on that. Um, I did 25 pound plate and that was more than enough. Um, I didn't go up at all. Um, I just try to really, again, do nice controlled movements. Um, try to get as curled up as much as I can as well. I then went over to the squat section of the body solid and I did what's called 90 degree squats. So you don't wanna go low, you just wanna go to a 90 degree where your, your legs are parallel basically with your knee um, and the floor, if that makes any sense. So like this, don't go too far. Don't go up, go like this, okay? Um, again, four sets, 15 to 20, um, your decision. I started out with 90 pounds, and I was like, oh, that was easy, so then I went up to 140 pounds. I struggled the last round, um, I won't lie. That was, I said that a lot today, so far, I won't lie. Um, that was a very challenging move in itself. Uh, felt really good though. Um, it was nice to be able to use the body solid machine to do my squats. I've been utilizing the regular rogue squat rack that I have um, and trying to use it. But I like, I, I really, I really like the body solid better. It forces you to hold proper form better. Um, some people, it depends on if you're a low bar squatter or a high bar squatter, will depend on what your form looks like as you go down. It also has to do with the femur length and a bunch of other technical stuff that goes into it, but you're one or the other. You're either a high bar or a low bar, and your posture will be different depending on which one you are and stuff. Um, I am a low bar squatter, so when I squat, I will tend to, I try to, I try to sit back as much as I can, but I, knew, I know sometimes I still will lean forward a little bit too much. And when I'm using the uh, squat rack that comes with the machine, you can't do that. It forces you to stay in that position and it forces you to keep your back straight. So I thoroughly enjoyed doing my squats. I felt like I got a really good um, movement that was very fluid. Um, I felt like it was hitting all the right places. I didn't feel any pressure in my lower back whatsoever, so it was really, really nice. I then went outside. My video outside was kind of screwy. Um, it was windy yesterday. I have some little palm trees in my front yard. So they were blowing and they kind of blew into me as I was trying to do my walking lunges. Um, you want to grab I have anywhere between 30 to 50 pound dumbbells. I don't know what I did with my, oh, here they are. This is where you'll want to use, um, if you have weaker forearms like I do, my forearms are not the strongest in the world. So I really enjoy my Harbinger hooks. Um, I got these off of Amazon.com. And again, they're just little Harbinger and they're hooks. So this is like a really nice, it's super strong. You can't hear it, but <laughs> this is super, super strong. It's really nice. Um, what you do, Let's see if I can get into it for you. It just unvelcros. You put the hook onto, into the palm part of your hand, the palm portion, and then you Velcro it however tight you want it. So now when you don't want to use it, you can just let it drop. When you want to use it, just kind of see how it dangles? You can just flip it and you're ready to go. You don't need to use your fingers at all. I just kind of lay my two middle fingers on it just for safety issues. I don't know, it's a mind game that I do. But this will actually, the hook itself will actually hold the weight for you. So when you're doing your walking lunges, if you're using heavier weights, this will help you be able to go longer because sometimes if you don't have the hooks, your forms will start giving out before your legs give out. We don't want that. So be sure that uh, if you are going to be doing heavier weights, I say if you have the extra money, 
purchase a set of hooks. They come in all different colors, different brands. You don't have to get the brand that I have, but I really enjoy mine. I also use them whenever I'm doing um, deadlifts. Really good with deadlifts. I'm actually able to go up in my weight a lot more because of that. Some people look at it as a handicap because your forearms won't get any stronger. But if you're doing a bunch of pull-ups and stuff, your forearms are going to get stronger anyways. So I don't really care, to be honest with you. I just don't want to have like Popeye forearms. Not that I would, but you know what I mean. It's easier. So you want to do, I use the 35-pound 35, 35 dumbbells and... I would go 10 steps down per leg and then 10 steps back per leg. So that would be one set. So it's 20 per leg equal, equals one set. And you're gonna wanna do four, rep, uh, four, four sets, 20 reps. I got that backwards, it's kinda late tonight. It's been a long day. I had to do things a little bit different. If you go to the uh, gym, some gyms will have a couple of different variations for a leg press machine. Some of the gyms you'll see where you sit in a chair like so and it goes straight out like this, that's fine. Some of them you'll see that are more almost sitting on the ground at an at a incline position. So when you're doing it, your feet are actually going up this way instead of this way. I don't have a leg press machine. So I use the squat section on my machine and what I did is I played with the foot placement. This is another bonus um, to having the squat area attachment to the machine because it is an inclined plate. So depending on where you place your feet on that plate will depend on what muscle group you're really hitting. I really wanted to focus um, more on my hamstrings because I am uh, trying to get those to pop out a little bit more. So I had my feet higher up on the plate. The further down on the plate you go, the more quad dominant the muscle groups, um, the, the muscle that will be working will be your quad instead of your hamstrings. <sighs> you better have some time and patience with this. I about went like completely crazy because it was just taking so long. I could just imagine if I was at the gym, it would be pissing people off if they wanted a machine. You're gonna do 40 reps, take a 10 second break, 30 reps, 10 second break, 20 reps, 10 second break, then you're gonna start it again, 20, 30, 40, and you're gonna try to make them all working sets. So it's literally add more weight and then go, add more weight and then go, and then you can take off the weight as you come back. I did not move my weight at all. I stuck with just uh, 25 pound plates on each side plus the weight of the machine. I had enough. I was really struggling by the time I got to 20. I mean, the last 20 were just absolute murder. It was miserable. It was a total mind game. You really have to just push yourself. Not only is it just taking forever, but it's also your muscles were completely just exhausted. When, by the time I got done, I just had to sit on the floor for a little bit. Um, wanting to die. And then I finished it up with uh, calf raises. I went ahead again over on the body solid machine where the plate is. There's an actual lip there that you can, it's a round lip. You can put your uh, balls of your feet on it. Um, and then you can do hyper extended calf raises. Love it. I would do, I did 10 with my feet straight at like a normal calf raise, and then I would do 10 with my toes together, and then I did 10 as if there's no place like home because I was ready for it to be over with my heels together, like click, click, click. Take about a 10 second break and then start over again, and I did three rounds of it. So it's 10, 10, 10, 10 second break, 10, 10, 10, 10 second break. Your calves are going to be screaming. I, I kid you not. I really thought I was going to be sore today than what I really am. So I'm super excited that I'm not. <laughs> um, so that was good. That is my leg day. Be sure that you have at least an hour and a half to put aside for it. Um, just because it's a lot of leg work. It's almost an overkill of legs. But when you feel uh, finished, I guarantee you, 
you will know you just worked your legs and you deserve to put the little memes or whatever they are um, that show you laying on the floor saying the day after leg days or leaving the gym and you're falling. It doesn't matter. It's You earned it. So anyway, thanks for following along. Um, I will see you tomorrow, which is actually today because I just finished shoulders. <laughs> but anyway, so I'll give you a review on that right now. Bye, guys.